Hello guys and welcome back. So as I promised in previous video, I would like to show you today uh, how the completed top of the case looks like. Um, so going from the bottom, we have the chain tensioners, uh, the pendulum, the mine weight for the movement, and the second weight for the striking mechanism and of course we have the hood so going from the bottom of the hood we have uh, this gate behind this gate we can see and hear the working escapement the dial the monophase indicator and finally on top we have the cuckoo so this is how it looks like on the side i just need to replace this gray element with the black one so maybe i will show you how it looks and sounds when it strikes so Let's move the hand to four o'clock. Five o'clock. So I think it sounds pretty nice. Uh, uh, maybe I will uh, try to tune somehow uh, the sound of the gong. But yeah, so anyway, uh, the top uh, consists of around two and a half thousand pieces. Uh, I'm not counting the mechanism itself and the rest of the case will be around one and a half meter tall and will require uh, around 11,000 of pieces but I don't have uh, any of them right now so I'm not sure when I will be able to complete it. However, in some reasonable time, I will be able to show it to you. So, uh, what else needs to be done is to remove these uh, chain tensioners. Uh, I will need to make these chains a little bit longer so instead of tensioners, uh, there will be two auto winders for the weight located in the very uh, bottom of the case. So I will not need to manually wind the clock. So as for winding, uh, this is quite easy. I just need to pull the chain right now so the weight goes up and similarly for the striking uh, weight so now it's not that difficult however it requires day-to-day -day maintenance so um, basically that's it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, your comments and your likes uh, in my previous videos. Um, please leave me a comment as I'm very curious. How do you like it? Uh, in my opinion, it looks great. Uh, so I'm just very curious. What do you think? And yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you for your 
listening to me as I'm not a good speaker as you may have noticed but I'm not the, the hero of these videos the hero is this the clock I'm just trying to show you how I built it so yeah thank you one again and see you in the next video. Bye.